and welcome back to another episode of Project Rai. And we've got another long one in us today again, apparently. I really wasn't expecting it to be as long as this because I'll be honest with you all, I, I didn't really have the time to even sit down and properly play slash test ideas and even be able to sit down and edit stuff. I, I really just didn't have the time this week, but I've I've squeeze the time out of somewhere somehow and with that being said i didn't want this to feel like a filler episode um and it kind of went out of hand because <laughs> i didn't want it to feel like a filler episode because as you know we've been working along the coastline and i really want to get that out of the way so we can start working into the city and i can i can feel like i'm actually filling out the city as i'm as we're going and it's nice to see some progress and all that lovely stuff but i kind of bit off more than i could chew with this but i didn't realize that at the time because i was thinking okay i need an episode that has some meat in it and is gonna be fun to view and to watch and to look at and all that lovely stuff so i i went with this dock area because We've been filling out the coastline and, you know, we're, we're kind of doing some very samey stuff in some of them, you know, houses, stuff like that along the train lines and all that type of stuff. And I wanted this to be a little bit different. And with that being said, it, I honest to God thought the, the dock would maybe be about 25, 30 minutes tops it wasn't until i started building this place i was like okay um we have a big surface area to cover here i'm laughing about it but it's really not funny because there was quite a lot of headaches along the way but before i get into that i just want to say this should really have been two episodes in itself kind of half of the dock and then half of the other dock because i have had to try and trim it down because even after i trimmed it down to start with we were looking at at least an hour and 25 minutes and that was me first trimming it down getting rid of all the parts where i'm not moving or i've left my keyboard and i've gone to do something or i was just testing an idea out and we were sitting at like an hour and 20 minutes so i've had to dial back some areas and I figured I'd do that on the parking lots and stuff like that because there's a lot of parking lots in this episode because it's just a big area. It's like just a big harbour side. There's got to be lots of parking, right? Plus the, the top left car park is going to be used later on to accommodate the beach. So there's multiple car parks all over, but they're all for like different dedicated areas, which you'll be able to see in the cinematics and stuff, which will be kind of cool but like i said i've tried to trim some areas off them so i think in the first 15 minutes 16 minutes we're going to be kind of detailing around the sports little area here that we have and the car parks and i'm, I'm going to be detailing them as well as like the trees and bushes all around these areas i'm going to be showing as much as that as i can because I'm going to be skipping some of it later on when we do some of the other car parks because it's pretty much just the same thing again. Car parks, fences, hay machines, that's it. Maybe a couple of decals here, there and everywhere. But I didn't want it to feel like we were just doing car parks for like 30 minutes, which was more like 35 minutes, <laughs> which was a bit too much so I've, I've dialed it back a little bit i also dialed it back a little bit on the when we're doing the walls for the harbor um i hope you can kind of understand why i i did because i was placing them for that long that it that was almost like five or six minutes in itself just to get the shape of the harbor so i what i did is i did like a rough take where we go along the outlines and we just kind of fill it in a little bit on the sides and then we skip to it and it's fully done. 
you know you've seen me do harbors before but i i didn't want to take too much time in these areas when there was so much to do because we've also got this i i i think from looking at google earth i think the apartment complexes that are around the middle area where the fishing part of the dock is i i think they might be for workers in the area or something because it seems a very strange place to have accommodations like right at the back of a fishing harbor but hey what do i know maybe there's like a proper reason behind it that i don't know but either way we've we've got that put in and funnily enough actually next to the fishing dock they actually have like this shrine i don't know if it's like an offering shrine or something for like maybe safety at sea um i figured it might be something to do with that because you know it's it's an odd place to kind of have a shrine really isn't it like at the, at the docks um and right next to the fishing docks so you know i'm just guessing it's to do with maybe safety at sea or something like that which is kind of cool if it is so i do go ahead and put that in because i was a little bit like mm, do i keep it or not but then when i actually put it down and we built everything else around it it actually blended in really well um which is literally one of the whole reasons why i love the japanese theme in city skylines because you can at least this is how i feel about it i feel that you can make and design anything and even if it looks totally crazy it's believable whereas you know let, let's say i'm building like a, a british city and i put a church right next to the fishing dock she'd be like yo i ain't never seen a church next to a fishing dock in my entire life and i just that it's one of my main reasons why i love the japanese theme you, you can just make some really crazy layouts and they just work they just look great and i love it <laughs> now what would it actually be if it wasn't me moaning in an episode about something that went wrong <laughs> you know I, 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 I gotta moan about something in every episode and this is actually a really weird one and it's actually to do with the water so this entire area i don't show the network layout and how i did it because i'd gone through that many layouts and that many tries and <sighs> I, I i i do like a dummy area first where i kind of just use like the plot of blast vault and i'll make like a square and i'll be like okay that's a car park and then i'll run the network through here and then i'll just grab a square building and i'll be like right this is where the buildings go blah 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 blah, blah. and i did that for multiple different type of layouts before i finally just tried to go one for one with google earth and i it, it worked out the best let's just put it that way but onto the actual problem was the water because this entire area to start with was actually underwater um and when i'd done this layout originally and i'd got it exactly how i wanted it i unpaused the game and when all the water come rushing to the surface within a matter of seconds it crashed my whole game which was super annoying so i then had to load back into the game and then i filled a little bit of the area out um well trying to level it out first sorry and it crashed again and needless to say it crashed again and it crashed again and i thought oh no <laughs> what is wrong and the only way that i could do it was by doing small pieces at a time and uh, this took me like maybe about 10 to 15 minutes and i just had to do tiny little sections so that i was pushing the ground actually out but the water wasn't overflowing because for some reason the moment that the water actually overflowed a little bit onto the land my game would just instantly crash i don't know if it's something to do with the physics of the water or i i honestly have no idea but i am um, I'm glad that the city I already have made the shape of what I want because if I have to mess around with war and it just crashes all the time it's gonna be a super super 
super headache and i've already had enough while trying to build this place and yeah i, I i'm just glad it's it's done to be honest as much as the areas turned out fantastic there was a lot of little problems i come up against but i'm i'm not gonna drone on about it i've had my little moan now and we're gonna move back up back onto the um, episode again so we have got the first 15 to 16 minutes um if i'm remembering correctly we're gonna be building these car parks and we're also gonna be doing the foliage around them like i've said along with the little bit of the sports area i didn't want it to be too kind of spoy um but it's, it's turned out quite nice And then after we're done with these areas, we're going to be moving on to where we're going to be placing all the yachts and we're going to be doing that dock section. And thanks to a friend of mine, when I was actually filling out the dock section, I, I'd used some of the boats with their sails, obviously, up. Uh, sorry, down, sorry. Um, and... He said to me, you know, it looks a little bit weird that, you know, they're kind of parked up and they've got their sails down. And I wasn't going to do much about it, to be honest, because I, there's, I didn't think there was very many assets when I'd look for boats. But I actually managed to find a load on the workshop where their sails were, um, you know, tucked up. And you're going to see while i'm building this i'm going to be putting down a load of boats and their sails are actually down and then in the cinematics their, their sails aren't there anymore so i i don't know about you i think it looks a lot better and you know we can thank um cody for recommending that because if not i would have probably kept it the same and maybe hey maybe one of you guys might have commented on it and said it looked a bit weird so thankfully we got that out of the way and then we're going to be working our way around this dock on the right to where the fishing dock is going to be. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The fishing dock is definitely on the right and it's going to go all the way up to where the bridge is going to go over, hopefully, to the industrial section of the city when we eventually get around to that. But we're kind of just laying the groundworks for it at the moment. I'm pretty sure in the next episode um i might do like a midweek episode where it might only be like 10 15 minutes long episode but it'll be me kind of just going over fixing this um interchange section so it, it, it's gonna suit this area because i i'd told you all before that it needed changing and i just didn't like it anyway and i want the roads to kind of curve in and out of each other and for traffic to make sense i want the little bridge section that comes over into this or should I say the suspended area? I want trucks to only use that. And then the lower sections, I want cars to come in and then out. And I have managed to get that to work. But like what I said, I'm going to fix that in a change. Maybe middle of this week if I can find time for it. And then we do the other episode on Saturday. Now, I will apologize this episode is super messy i mean i've got props everywhere littered on my screen bushes everything i just uh, i'm gonna try and not do it again um just because it looks so messy and i don't think it looks very nice to look at and yeah so i'm gonna try and not do that in the future because this was kind of the straw for me a little bit when i was looking at the recordings back i was like wow this looks a total mess. I've just got props everywhere on my screen. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and change that for in the future. As well as I want to change up my... My building style. Um, if, I, if I've got enough time to try it and try out some ideas... Um, I'm going to try it in the next episode and see what you all think if you prefer it. Because... I move my camera like a lot to do things and I'm wondering if it would be I know it would be easier for editing and stuff like that but I'm thinking about easier for viewing and it might be better as well when I'm like cut into different before like now like this episode's very cut up into different 
angles and all that type of stuff and i'm wondering if it might be better to kind of just have the camera locked in one place and then we build it and then it might not be picture perfect but because of the angle it's like it kind of looks nice I, I hope this is kind of making sense where i'm going from but without going into too much basically i want the camera to be locked in one place and we we build the area and the camera only moves when we go to another section to then build and what i'll probably do is let's say i built this area here that you can see and the camera wasn't moving and then once i stopped the recording maybe i i touch it up a little bit you know maybe the tree was a little bit wonky you know we'd move it back or the bench or you know something like that. i'm thinking of doing that just because I think it might be a better viewing experience because I I have had a few people tell me the camera swings around a lot and the camera cuts a lot and stuff like that. I don't know how you all feel about it, but um, I would love to hear your thoughts on if you would like a more still image while we build rather than me just swinging the camera around all the time. So actually, if you've stuck to this point again, I would love to hear if you would prefer a more stilled version. Also, we're definitely going to be trialing music in the background. Not very loud. Um, very quiet, because I know that you all mentioned that you didn't want it to be too loud. So, I am going to be trying that as well. I can't really think of much more to say. Um, okay, so before I go, I do want to just say I have found a few props that I like for the highway so I can actually start naming things finally which is going to be super awesome so I think I'm going to make that maybe a midweek episode as well where it's not going to be like a super long episode but we're just going to go around some of the interchanges and some of the highways and all that type of stuff and i'm just gonna be detailing them with the props and po in them and then writing in the name so that everything makes sense so i think i might turn that into a mini episode just a bit of a chill episode maybe i'm just talking about some stuff maybe just rambling for like five or ten mm, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes actually to do kind of the areas that i'd like so yeah i think that's probably what i'll do and this is where i'm gonna dip so i want to thank you all for watching i hope you really enjoy this episode um i think it looks super cool um turned out great i think um i hope you all think the same so i'm gonna leave you with it like i've already said a million times so i hope you do enjoy and like always i'll see you all in the next one